Andrew, the old question of why is there something rather than nothing has been the question that has haunted me my whole life and has been one of the, the foundational themes of Closer to Truth. Um, and let me put it to you this way. Um, how can we exclude the, the concept that, that nothing is the more the simplest and most logical step. And, and when one thinks about the, the existence of everything, the fact that there should be anything at all is astonishing. Well, I think to answer that question, uh, first of all, um, we need to think about the nature of explanation. Because when we ask the question, why? Uh, why is there something rather than nothing? The word why itself you know, is actually asking for an explanation, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So for example, if you ask, why did Andrew Locke exist? Right? Why, why do I exist? Well, you can say that uh, the reason why I exist is because well, my, my parents right, brought me to existence, right? If you ask, why, why did my parents exist? Right? They will say that uh, my parents' parents, my grandparents brought them into existence. Now, um, the, column, the cosmological argument shows that you know, there cannot be an infinite regress right? because um, there cannot be an infinite uh, regress of dependencies. Because, uh, so for example, if I depend on my parents, and my parents depend on my parents' parents, right? then nothing will ever begin to exist because a, a dependence regress is a vicious regress. And so, uh, and so therefore, uh, this regress must be terminated by something that is not dependent on anything else. And so uh, this will be an independent first cause, which explains um, why uh, th there are other things which begin to exist. And this first cause itself will not require an explanation because it is the first cause and it has no beginning. And since something has no beginning, it, it doesn't require an, another thing to explain why it exists because it just is. And so there must be a kind of brute fact or something that is uncaused and something that's without beginning. And the Kalam argument shows that this thing must also have libertarian freedom to bring about the first events, and therefore it's the yeah. creator. Yeah, at this point, I, don't, I really don't care what it is. I just, mm. I just want to know anything, something. It doesn't have to be a yeah. creator, it doesn't mm. have to be uh, the universe, uh, but it just it has to be something rather than nothing. That's all I care about to, an to, yeah. to answer this, this question. Mm. Uh, and and you, you're going through an argument that says that there has to be something that's necessary. Yes. Okay. And you know what that necessary thing is mm. is a separate issue. Yeah. Uh, um, yes. I, I'm just saying. You know, is there yes. is there what can you do to say that there is something necessary? That's that's the critical question. So yeah. let, let me put it this way: if if we had it's a very complicated thought experiment, if we had, um, if you were divorced from the fact that there is existence, mm. and and you had no sense that there is a, a, existence, um, the the argument that you're giving to this, this sequence of events, you you, you couldn't do that because you had nothing there. So, it, it, wouldn't it be the case that nothing would be the, the most logical? the easiest thing to explain if you if you didn't have the the data that there is something the, the fact that we start with that we know there's something prejudice us uh i don't see this as a prejudice but rather i see this as a realization of that's what reality is right that that, that, that the fact that we do exist and that we are talking now for example uh so um, yeah, you're, you're talking about, uh, whereas you're talking about logical possibility, right? You're saying that, well, we can imagine that there's a state where there is nothing and we can think about, we can conceive of such a state. And I want to say that, okay, so uh, even if we grant that nothingness is logically possible, that, that doesn't mean that it's actual, right? I mean, what is logically possible doesn't mean that it's actual. Sure, yeah, so uh, in order to consider what is actual, we have to look at the evidence uh, and the evidence can include uh, empirical experience, for example. And so there's no way of denying that I'm having an experience right now of talking to you. Right. And so this experience then therefore exists and need to be explained. Hmm. And there cannot be an infinite regress of um, events. And therefore, they, they must ever arrive at the But even if, even if there were an infinite re re regress, even if you allowed that, and many philosophers and, 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 and thinkers, even, hmm. even in the Christian tradition, have allowed that an infinite regress is possible, they would say God is responsible for the whole process. But hmm irrespective of that, um, there would still be in that infinite universe nothing necessary. Uh, so, so therefore you need to 
terminate the infinite regress to make your point that there has to be something necessary. Yeah, which is my argument. So I've given uh, numerous, uh, a few arguments to show that uh, there, there cannot be infinite regress. And therefore, there must be something necessary. Yeah. And that will be the answer to the question, why is there something rather than nothing? Yeah, uh, um, d does that first cause, though, have to be necessary as opposed to brute fact? There's a difference. A difference between brute fact and necessary. Yes. Brute fact is, it's just there. We, we don't know. We can't, we can't put any label on it. Mm. And we can't go beyond that. But you go beyond that and you say it is necessary. Yes, it is necessary because um, if you think about, uh, I mentioned, con so if you think about contingencies, for example, right? Uh, contingent, con contingent things or events will be things that are not necessary. Uh, but then those will be dependent on uh, other things. Right. And my, my argument is that, that these uh, dependencies cannot be uh, an infinite regress. It must start with something that is not dependent, which means that it is necessary in that sense. So is that logically coherent? to say that because there is no infinite regress, that it has to stop with, 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 with something as, as, a, as, a, as, a, as an initial start, that that has to be necessary, as opposed to that is just a brute fact. There's a difference between necessary and a brute fact. Yeah. A brute fact can be necessary, but a brute fact by its definition doesn't have to be necessary because that's what brute fact is. We can't go beyond it. So we need to ask, uh, what is this brute fact? Is this brute fact contingent or necessary, right? So, well, you're, you're, you're forcing it into one of two categories. Mm. But I, I'm saying brute fact by its definition doesn't have the categories because that's what a brute fact is. Yeah, a brute fact is something that is unexplained. Uh, is, there's, there's it, it, yeah, I mean, it, 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 it's, it's a stone wall. Mm. You, you know, no, you can't go further than that. That's, yeah. that's what a brute fact is, yeah. which is different than a necessary uh, thing. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so my, my argument actually argues, that, uh, sh shows that, because my argument, as I said just now, can be understood as a contingency argument. Yes, and, so, and then I follow. Yeah, and so this contingency um, argument implies that um, there, there must be something that is not contingent. So it's not just merely a brute fact, but it is something that is uh, independent of anything else. And it also must be, uh, it also must exist in, um, uh, in, in such a way that uh, not only is it independent, but that uh, in, in, it cannot fail to exist in right. order to um, be uh, the, the, um, the, the ground of, of, of things that do and can fail to exist. And so uh, it, it will be necessary in that sense. Yeah, well, that's, you're giving a totality because that's, that's what necessary means. It cannot fail to exist. It exists yeah. in every possible world. Yeah. All, these, all yeah. these definitions are different ways to explain the, the mm. concept of, of necessity. Mm. All I'm saying is that the, the, the product of your argument doesn't mm. seem to absolutely require a necessity, but would need to uh, 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 be terminated in a brute fact. Mm -hmm. And a brute fact is a bigger subset than a nece than the necessary. So there are mm -hmm. there are brute facts that are necessary brute facts, mm -hmm. but I can't determine that because a brute fact is a, is a is is a, is sort of a a, a permanent mm -hmm. um, a barrier to my capacity to know, even in principle. It's yeah. not that it's not that the human brain is is not strong enough, or I'm not smart enough, which I'm not smart enough, but irrespective of all of that, mm. a brute fact means, in principle, you mm. cannot go beyond it to, 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 to characterize it. Yeah. So, uh, well, we can, we, need to go, we can go into the details of the argument to see wh whether the justification against infinite regress will lead to a uh, brute fact that is not only brute, but also necessarily as well. I mean, we can explore that. But in any case, such a brute fact will be the answer to the question, why is there something rather than nothing, right? So uh, that the creator God exists regardless of whether this God is necessary or not, right? But he, he will be the answer to the question. Well, we, okay, yeah. now, 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 now you're sneaking God into it uh, as well. Oh, I'm, I'm not sneaking in God because I already explained just now that this brute fact it will, will have to be a first cause following the premise of my argument uh, that this and th that this first cause will have libertarian freedom in order to bring about the first event. Okay, but that, that, that's an additional co co complexity. Yeah, so, but that follows from the I premise understand of that's your argument. argument. Yeah, and so we will arrive at the first cause, which is a, a, a first cause with a freedom of will. So regardless of whether this first cause is uh, necessary or not, right? right. but uh, he will be a kind of creator God. And he will be the answer to the word question, why there's something rather than nothing.